So if you mm -hmm. proving yourself mm -hmm. to be a good woman yes. is what runs your relationship, you will find yourself proving yourself as a woman even in the 20 years after marriage. You will still not feel enough. Hajui, hajui, hajui. Yeah. Tamwanesha, namwanesha, namwanesha. Kila saa utakuwa namwanesha na utachoka. When a man talks, and we love to ignore them, but you're like, mm -hmm. he just doesn't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I've met people like, but I, but, but didn't you guys talk about it? Didn't it? Did he ever say he didn't want children? You're like, yeah, but that's when we started dating. Yeah. I think things changed. When a man talks, listen. Hey, and welcome back to my dining room, where obviously it's a conversation and a meal around mommy's rice. Um, by the way, this pack belongs to you with mommy's rice, of course, so you can try it for yourself. However, I realized edifying as our last conversation was, I had to invite you again. And I had to make sure we had mommy's rice again. So I'm having a vegetable biryani. Of course, the rice was made with mommy's rice. And yours is a chicken, chicken biryani. biryani. Yes, there yeah. you go. Looks yummy. Yes. Coach Jackie Care joins us again because the first time we had this conversation, you opened up our minds, but also left us also with eyes wide open like, wait, I hear what you're saying, but I didn't quite get it. So I'm going to start off with the one that was quoted over and over again. Yeah. In the journey to co-parenting, yeah. you must love your child more than you hate your ex. Yeah. We hear it. We receive it. Mm -hmm. But we're thinking, how? Okay. At first, I really didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know <laughs> that uh, the interview would catch fire like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, loving your ex, loving your child, child more, more than, than you, you hate, hate your, your ex uh -huh. is at the core of co-parenting. Okay. Parenting on its own mm -hmm. is not easy. No. Even in the same house, parenting is not an easy journey. No, actually it isn't. Yeah. And here you are, mm -hmm. you're supposed to parent with somebody that you don't like. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to parent with somebody that the relationship broke. Yes. Yeah. So you have to put the brokenness of the relationship aside uh -huh. and look at the child who is the product of this relationship. Because you as adults know why the relationship ended. The child does not know. True. The child did not choose this. No. Yeah. The child never chose this. Yeah. So when I say you have to love your child mm -hmm. more than you hate your ex, mm -hmm. what I'm telling you to do is to secure your child despite uh -huh. what has happened. So secure, insulate them yes. from your drama. Yes. So that you also don't uh, find yourself in that position of wakababako. Yes. Mm. And not just insulating them <laughs> from the drama, mm -hmm. allowing your child the chance to have a childhood is education-wise, the needs, the basic needs mm -hmm. of this child mm -hmm. are catered for. Yes. Yeah. Despite the drama of the, the two of you relationship, yes. Yes. That is how you secure your child. But their basic needs are taken care of. Are met. Yes. Basic needs, even basic relationships. Yes. Yeah. Because the relationship with their other parent is also very important. Is that aspect also met? <gasps> so you secure your child mm -hmm. and you secure them by provision, mm -hmm. by the relationships that you allow them to have, mm -hmm. which is a relationship with you and a relationship with their other parents mm -hmm. by what you speak as well as well as a parent. Are you allowing your child to grow as a child or because the relationship ended, mm -hmm. have you invited your child into the drama by emotionally dumping on them? You want an alliance with him yes, or her, or her against, against the other, the other, which is very unfortunate because, unfortunately, there are no ex-parents. And there are yes. no ex-children. So mm. at times also, being sec to secure your child, it also means, mm -hmm. what are you telling that child? That child? What are you putting inside what them? What are you putting inside them? Though, yes, your heart, mm. though, yes, you might be broken, 
what are you putting inside your child? Is your child your emotional dumping site? Uko, unajua. Yes. You know your dad, alikuwa ABCD. Mm. You just yeah, know how yeah. he is, yeah. Ajatuma pesa. Mm -hmm. mm. So don't ask me about that birthday party. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Though it might be true, yeah, uh, that but it's parent, not, yeah. that's not a conversation you have with that child. Now the parent that does not have that conversation with their child mm -hmm. and allows their child to be children mm -hmm. is loving their child more than they hate, hate their, their ex. ex. They're not trying to even recruit this child into the hatred, yes. hatred that you have mm -hmm. with their parent. Okay, so it brings mm -hmm. me to something else that came up. Mm -hmm. So what do you do mm -hmm. with a parent, and this is a mummy to mummy conversation, yes. who's not interested in having and fostering a relationship mm -hmm. with a child? And I know I've asked this before. Yeah. You know you can go to court and you can get provision. Yeah. And he, he can send a check, mm -hmm. literally almost like clockwork. Mm -hmm. Money will be sent, school fees will be paid. Mm -hmm. but does, is not interested mm -hmm. in doing the visits. He's been yeah. told you get two visits a month, mm -hmm. Saturday from 12 to 6. Child gets dressed, and I know I've heard women complain mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. Child gets dressed, my dad, my dad, my dad, my mm -hmm. dad, my dad. Mm -hmm. And literally, there's a point where you are putting that child to bed, crying and screaming, mm -hmm. because he will wait until midnight, because mm -hmm. my dad is coming. Yeah. What do you do in the case where he yeah. won't? In the case that the other parent actually does not want to be involved in their children's life, mm -hmm. it is unfortunate because the only person you can control is yourself. You know, you cannot <gasps> control them. Uh, in that case, you don't, there's so much that you can do, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, all the actions belong to the father. Yes. But today, if even there's a man listening to this. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> as much as their mommy conversations. Mm -hmm. Co-parenting mm -hmm. takes, you need to be responsible mm -hmm. and you need to be accountable. Which means mm -hmm. when I promise at nine, I will I'll be come there. and pick you, mm -hmm. go and pick them. Because that had, you, you're just breaking your child's heart. I know. As a mother who is there, mm -hmm. you may need to be the person to reassure them and mm -hmm. tell them it will be okay and also face the pain with your child yes. you know ideally co-parents should communicate loving the child more yes. than we hate each other and that is where you tell him mm -hmm. you're breaking our son's heart, heart. you're breaking, breaking our, our daughter's, daughter's heart. heart if you can't make it let us know that you can't make it because i am always picking up the bro that broken brokenness that mm. you cause i'm the one living with it and i have to pick it up every day and every time you make your promises that's not going to work i know a very good friend of mine who who was very clear that unless he confirmed on the morning of mm -hmm. she never said anything because that's how she insulated her uh -huh. child from disappointment. So it didn't matter that they had spoken on Thursday mm -hmm. until at 9 a.m. he says, I'll be there at 11. Yeah. She doesn't do anything because she, she knew she had to protect her child mm -hmm. from that. Once again, what you said, insulate. Yes. Secure your child. your child. And because you lived together for some time or you were in a relationship. You know this, this character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know him. Mm -hmm. And because you know he come up with working examples or working solutions like that one mm -hmm. that will actually secure your child yes but continue to converse and say this will not work yeah, we cannot this do this for the on. child yeah yeah this is not fair to the child okay you need to have that conversation <sighs> which brings me now to the other one as women yes we love to say mm -hmm. i can only be with somebody who has children uh, because he will also know what I'm going through. Yes. <laughs> the fact that he has children, is it automatic? The fact that he has children does not mean that he's good with kids. With kids. Or he's good, he's a good parent. But okay. so, so many of us, especially as single mothers, mm -hmm. what we say is, is, 
when we have that checklist, mm -hmm. the first thing is he must have children. Uh, yes. Should have children mm -hmm. because we assume mm -hmm. when he has kids, he then gets, my kids are okay. Then he but he'll he also gets get me, me and he'll yes. get yeah. uh, he'll get my parenthood journey. But that's not automatic. Most of us are suffering absent fathers, yet we have fathers in our houses. But they're absent. They're ATMs. Yes. They provide. School fees is paid. Electricity is paid. Yes. Rent is paid. Yes. But not available. Not available. Some are worse. Some are absent fathers in the same house with us. Don't even provide. We see our mothers doing the heavy doing lifting. Doing the heavy lifting. So it's not automatic. It's automatic that when somebody has, when a man has sad kids. Yes. They will become their, they'll become fathers to these children. So that checklist mm -hmm. that, oh, he must have, have children. children. Yes. Because I'm a single mother and mm -hmm. I have children. Mm -hmm. It's not a secure checklist. Not everybody who has kids mm -hmm. is a parent. But somebody once told me fatherhood is a choice. It is. And, and, and it's, it's a very difficult thing to almost calibrate. Mm -hmm. The same way when we say love is not a feeling, it's a yes. decision, it's a choice. I, I remember the first time I heard fatherhood is a choice. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? Men may sire a child, yes. but he, he, if he does not choose to be a dad, mm -hmm. you know there's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Th there's nothing under heaven that you'll do. You can do yeah. to make him present to make him mentor to make him absolutely nothing and so you can imagine this statement that uh, ladies or a single parent mm. relies on saying mm -hmm. for me the choice of man that i want mm. he should have kids he should have kids. please don't think mm -hmm. it's automatic you <laughs> there's also i think there's also the aspect that there's a lot of stigma around uh, single mothers mm -hmm. uh, we feel nobody will accept us Especially somebody who is single yes. without kids. Yes. That's some who will accept you. Actually, there is a man who will be like, and they actually, could be because good eggs and yes. there are many. They could be good dads to yes. your kids. I, I have witnessed that. Yeah. Yes, I have witnessed that. So your checklist should be a checklist of values, mm -hmm. character. And uh, also one other thing that you should not use. Mm -hmm. Please don't say that I just don't want to get somebody like my ex. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, yeah, yeah. that can just want be somebody opposite who is not like ex. like my ex. Mm. Yes. Opposite my ex. Mm. So mm -hmm. you find that the benchmark mm -hmm. becomes your ex, the bad relationship. That becomes the benchmarking mm. part. So anyone who does slightly something different, not that they are good, mm -hmm. but the, the, that is you different say, from I, him. Yeah, like who you. That one is better. Mm. You know, he's the other like, one used to beat me up, mm -hmm. but this one does not beat me. Mm. At least he's not physically violent. But mm -hmm. when you sit in it, in that relationship for some time, you realize mm -hmm. they are just abusive. You just chose another abusive man, but it is emotional. Yes. But you see, you wanted something different. Yes. So, so you got different. Yes. So having kids, a man that has kids, mm -hmm. that is not a very good value. It's not a very sustaining no. value for Actually, you to Actually, now for. that you think about it, no. Using your ex to benchmark <laughs> your next, the next relationship. Mm -hmm. It means, you know, you left your ex, mm -hmm. so the standards of that relationship was low. You it know? means all you need is to just Another law, Another but just low. not law. Yes, it's, it's, you move it uh, horizontally. It's, yes. it's not this law, but yes. it's low, but it's here. Yes. Okay. So that will not work. Wow. And uh, looking for a relationship because you're running away from what you went through mm -hmm. also will not work. Define what you want to go towards. Wow. Yeah. What is that relationship that I want to go towards? I'm a single mother today. Mm -hmm. I have an opportunity to have a fresh start. Mm -hmm. Can I redefine it well enough without pressure, without yes. using a bad experience? Mm -hmm. Can I just create something for myself that is good? I want, I want before we finish, to talk about healing. However, yeah. it brings me back to dating. Yes. Somebody once told me, when a man speaks, listen. Yeah. 
and when he shows you who he is believe, believe him oh yes because a lot of us will go on a date with a man who says i don't like kids mm -hmm. and we'll be like he hasn't met me no or or he just needs i don't time. believe in marriage <laughs> yeah. this is too complicated I, I don't like it yeah and we're like no he just needs time yeah. I, I, will, I will win him round yeah and yeah. if that <laughs> Okay, as women, mm -hmm. we actually fall prey of that every time. Really? When men say, I don't like ABCD. Yeah, we're like, and I say, maybe because of the person you used to be yeah, with. Yes. Me, me, different. Me, I'm different. <laughs> you are different, but he is a standard. Yes. Yes, he is the SI. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women fall prey of that. Mm -hmm. So you find yourself trying to prove him wrong about his desires that you didn't want to get married, mm -hmm. so I'm going to prove you wrong. I am going to be the best God woman mm -hmm. that has ever existed. Mm -hmm. I will give you love. I will do so much mm -hmm. so that you change your mind yeah. about this decision. You know, if you have a car, Caro, yes. if it is a diesel car, imagine the fuel that runs that car is diesel. Is this, what? If you have what? a petrol car, mm -hmm. The fuel the that runs that car will be petrol. You will not change your mind along the way and say, this is a petrol car, but ah, today See, I want diesel. Yeah, and diesel anyway is cheaper right now. Yeah, mm. okay, diesel. Mm. That will not work. If you run your relationship from the foundation of manipulation <gasps> or from the foundation of you mm -hmm. minimizing yourself mm -hmm. for the other person, oh, that is the fuel that will run this relationship for the longest how you get them yes <laughs> so if you mm -hmm. proving yourself mm -hmm. to be a good woman yes is what runs your relationship you will find yourself proving yourself as a woman even in the 20 years after marriage you will still not feel enough when a man talks and we love to ignore them but you're like mm -hmm. He just doesn't mm. know. Mm. Yes. Because I've met people like, but I, but, but didn't you guys talk about it? Didn't it? Did he ever say he didn't want children? You're like, yeah, but that's when we started dating. Yeah. And then things changed. When a man talks, listen. And then his friends meet you and tell you, Ujama. It's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because this same sentence will mm -hmm. haunt you. Yes. Years later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when that he you shows he you who he is, believe him. Believe it. Mm. Yeah. I don't believe, I don't believe one-offs, but I believe patterns. Yeah. You know, everybody has a little, but your pattern tells me. There's yes. a consistency. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how good an actor somebody is, mm -hmm. they can only do it for so long. That is true. It is said that the best way to judge uh, and the, uh, to judge the behavior, current behavior, is just look at my past pattern, past the, behavior. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you will know. You will what know. I yeah. will be. We are slaves of habit as human yes, beings. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I do want to talk about healing because yeah. these conversations are great. Yeah. The book is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I've told you, I've read it twice. Yeah. And I gave it. Thank you. However, mm -hmm. it starts with me. Yes. Uh, healing is important. And not just healing. The relationship you have with yourself is the blueprint of all the relationships that you will, you will meet. The relationship you have with yourself. If you don't have a healthy relationship with yourself, and you expect the universe to send you a healthy relationship. <laughs> it's not it's happening. It's not going to happen because even when the universe sends it, mm -hmm. you will not know how it looks like. You will not recognize it. No, you won't recognize You'll it. You'll be like, in, in, in. Yeah. And uh, that is why you find ourselves at times in patterns of bad relationships. Yes. Because they are familiar. We know how it looks like. When a human being is given right between there. two choices... They will choose a familiar. Never one that is right and one that is familiar. We choose familiar because our brain makes sense of familiar. Of course. Yes. So first of all, you have to change that relationship with yourself. Oh my goodness. Know what love is within yourself. Mm -hmm. Love yourself. Yes. When somebody else does not love you right, you will know. You will know. Because you practice it. Honor yourself. When somebody else does not honor you, you will know it. You will know it. Yeah. You will hold up. Yes. Wait. So one of the things that you need to do is healing. 
if at all you have an ex, of course the relationship ended because yes. of something negative. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You need to heal. If you continue to blame the other person as the cause of the entire problems in the relationship, mm -hmm. then you're not ready to heal. You know, yeah. I, I remember saying this to a friend because it was this constant, and I don't want this and I don't want that, that I don't want. Yeah. And I, I, at some point I said, oh my goodness, you might never talk to me again, but I need to tell you this. Mm -hmm. Sweetie, you also need to forgive yourself for choosing him. Yeah. Mm. No matter how flat a pancake is, <laughs> it has two sides. <laughs> it can't be this this yes it is it just, was just one sided was, uh, yeah. i said you also need to forgive yourself for, for choosing, choosing him. him and in your healing journey mm -hmm. if you go for coaching and counseling mm -hmm. one of the things now we find out is what is it in me that chose that person oh you know that's that's rough that's rough <laughs> that's one of the roughest things you can ever deal with what yeah. is it about me that, that chose, chose that you? person that's still so red flags, but I know. They, it didn't do anything. What is it in my perception, in my interpretations, that still went ahead? You need to heal that because if you don't heal that, you're going to do it again. Yes, same script, different yes. cast. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I know I said the conversation would be edifying, and it is. But I just did not feel we could conclude. And we're not, I mean, you, you've got to find Jackie yourself, find the book, but find her. And, and then sit down and tell her, Ebu Samatena, <laughs> that there's something inside me yeah. that chooses these kurutus. Yeah. Because just the been... minute you start there, mm. you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. And even when you find yourself being attracted to them, mm -hmm. you will know why I'm being attracted to them. Yes. And you know, but this is not what I need. I know how this story goes. <laughs> you know? Hey, yes. I've been there. Mm. I know how this goes. Mm. This is not what I need. Mm -hmm. What Jackie needs right now is A, B, C, D. Yes. But you cannot say, I'm going to choose better. I'm going to do better. Mm -hmm. Yet, you don't sit down. And unpack and it. And confront it and unpack it. Mm. What you don't feel, you don't heal. Oh. You need to feel that pain. What is it? Me. What is it about me? And, and we love saying this as women. I feel nothing. The worst. The <laughs> then what you don't feel, <laughs> you don't, you don't heal. heal. Yeah. Then that is that, that is that is an unhealed soul or an, an evolved mm. one. Ata <laughs> uchungu. And you want to walk through the world like sikuske uchungu. Then you'll not be better. You need to feel it, heal it, be better. That is how the process goes. You don't just jump. So if you don't feel it, you will not heal it. And the universe will send you another similar experience yes. because you didn't take the, to retake the class. Oh yeah, the way I have heard that, mm -hmm. I understand that the, the question will be resent and the exam yes. will be resent to you until you learn. You learn it. Until because you learn. Why would you be taken to another level and you've not learned this, the lesson here? Because yes. the lesson here was supposed to take you to the next level. So if you don't get it, enyewe kama ukusikia uchungu, itarudiwa. Eh. Baka sikuile utasikia uchungu and then you know what to do with the uchungu. Kusikia uchungu simbaya? Yes. I don't know why we fear it. <laughs> Yeah, but ooh, an emotional pain is hard. <laughs> it is hard. But the best way to heal it uh -huh. is to feel it, uh -huh. acknowledge it, uh -huh. then you can now see what to do with it. I need to ask you something. Mm -hmm. if, if a group, and I know you're probably going to tell me, no, Caroline, I do one-on-one. -on -one, but if a group of ladies said, there's four of us, mm -hmm. we, will, we will prepare lunch, mm -hmm. and if it's mommy's rice, we will do it. <laughs> Can you come and talk to us? Are you I'd available love for some? To. Oh, phew. I thought you were going to say, Caroline, I'm a coach. I do one on one. <laughs> I, I, because I do group. <laughs> yeah, because some of these conversations, and especially for we women who are slightly seasoned, mm -hmm. we realize we need to unpack. Yeah. And sometimes it's, it's a little better if we're also in, in with our in people. In a safe group. We're in a safe yes. group, and we're like, okay. Because what you don't feel, you don't, you don't heal. heal. And what you don't unpack, mm -hmm. the way you're saying, mm -hmm. you unpack it so that you create space 
for the best things, the other best things. You cannot, uh, how, there's no space for any other good thing to come in. Actually, it's, it, because you're still carrying this yeah. other thing. Yeah, and that is why some of us, mm -hmm. we've been divorced for the last 20 something years. And we still talk about it. Oh, we are still bitter. And we're recruiting. Oh, yes. We recruit <laughs> even our kids yes. to join us. To join us Everyone in hating to join him. Us in hating and him. it's been 20 years. It's been 20 years. Uh, you can either be bitter or better, but you can't be both. You can't be both. I need to eat because if that is not big enough for you to call Jackie yourself and say we're preparing food, yeah. come sit with us as we have mommy's rice and mommy conversations. Mm -hmm. You can be you bitter or, or better, better, but you can't be both. I'm done. Let's eat. Those don't exist in the same room. Thank you. <laughs> We're eating. It's as simple as that. <laughs> oh my goodness. See you.